and time for day two of the annual it continues so on our way to the airport and i got this awesome new hat it's custom made from steph like totally one of a kind super warm she knows that i don't really handle cold well so very very nice that she uh, has been working on that for a little while for me I'm John from Fly 8 Mike Alpha, CFI turned airline pilot turned back to CFI. Come along on my journey, flying Alaska to Florida and beyond. And meet the A&P in training, Sia. Once she gets thumbs, she's gonna start helping us with all the maintenance. So we have our first problem of the annual, kind of a minor problem to have, really. It's this spark plug, and the electrode is kind of broken. Should not be loose like that. So that is our first little problem. Very simple fix, just buy a new spark plug. So we continued with all the little tasks of the annual. Steph and I both learned how to properly gap spark plugs using this very old school little tool here that kind of, you know, just squeezes the metal back together to make sure you've got a good proper gap with then, you know, tickle it with a little feeler gauge. After that, we discovered our second problem of the annual. Luckily, we discovered it. it wasn't such a huge deal since we caught it. Uh, could have been rather bad. You may not be watching these videos right now had we not caught it, but the bolt holding on our horizontal stabilizer was loose and it was making the horizontal stabilizer kind of flutter around a little bit and you know something that we had kind of wondered about on pre-flight but never really found out if there's an issue if there's there a crack or something so luckily just a little loose bolt tightened up no problem then we indiscriminately sprayed some lubricant all throughout the fuselage trying to get some lube on the actual pulleys finally managed to do that and then we were able to go ahead and resolve the trim issue and this thing is making an awful noise it's a little jacked up so time to take it apart and see what all's going on in there can you give me that light a little higher dual purpose make a movie and use the light and bags help to keep all your screws and parts together one more should do it some terrible terrible human being put nuts on the back of these screws instead of tinnerman plates so instead of just being normal number 10 sheet metal screws there you gotta have a nut on the back to get off all right Jeez. success there's your trim indicator doohickey thingy and bobber. And what is going on with it? Uh, well, it's covered in your hair, for starters. Um, and Sia's. Definitely not mine. Do you see this? Yeah. Uh, but I think this little guy's just bent and needs to be aimed back into this little track here. Okay. So, how's that look to you, Phil? Looks like that little follower isn't quite aimed at the right angle. And it's fixed. Now it works throughout the full range. No binding or grinding or anything else. And we can actually use the full range of trim. Hold in the hanger 
And no sunshine time. for us today. <laughs> yeah, it's beer time. Beer o'clock, officially. So the plane is done, annual is done. Finished it about half an hour ago. We're very excited. And tomorrow we're gonna be leaving for Cordova will be the first stop. So Cordova, maybe you have a Valdez, Valdez. <laughs> Valdez. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Valdez Cordova. and Cordova if we have time. And, and then that'll probably be it for tomorrow. And then we'll continue on down. Yakutat. Yakutat. And Sitka. then after that, catch can and onward south. So time to head home and we'll start mapping out where we're going to go. The map of Alaska here and our trip starts tomorrow. We're here in Anchorage. Okay, and if the weather allows, we're gonna take Whittier Pass over here and just keep on going through that pass. And following the shoreline, we're gonna go to Valdez, which is right here. Yep, we'll stay there overnight. Yeah. And then the next day, head out to... We're gonna go down to Cordova, maybe for a little while, and then go to Yakutat to get fuel, cause that's kind of the next good fuel stop. And uh, I think we'll be spending the night um, maybe in Sitka. Okay. So or, you attack or Sitka for the night. Or if the weather's good and we make it all the way down to Ketchikan, we might do that because awesome. it's really not that long of a trip. You cool. can do it in one day. Then we um, can hang out. That'll be from Anchorage all the way to Ketchikan. That uh, ish route's like 700 miles or so. Yeah. So if we start from Valdez. Um, that takes about 110 off of it. Yeah, and then and so that leaves us about 600 ish to do in a day, which is doable. I mean, mm -hmm. it's six hours in the airplane or so, kind of a long day. But the, yeah, then we'll hang out catch can for at least a day or so. Mm -hmm. Try to um, maybe do a little video editing, and then also get ready to cross over into Canada. Make sure I can find my passport. That'd be great to have. So you guys have obviously been asking a lot of questions in the comments about how Steph and I met and who Steph is, who I am, and basically what the backstory is here, why we're doing this trip. So it kind of started off December 2017. Mm -hmm. um, you came down to Florida, you're working on your instrument rating, and how you found some YouTube videos with some bald CFI down in Florida <laughs> and <laughs> called me up and were like, hey, I'm working on my instrument rating. And yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, we flew together, what, like two, three times? And then you head back up north and finish up your training up there. Yeah. Um, up here in the Great White North. Um, and then we just kind of kept in touch. And I think it was, what, about May or June or something? You're like, hey, you know, like, come fly in Alaska. And I was like, I totally wanted to check out Alaska. I'd never been here. So came up, I think, June. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, just kind of hit off. And since then, been dating, what, like three months now or so? And... Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a good time. So experiencing Alaska, kind of just trying something totally new. And it also, I mean, I probably wouldn't have lasted the airlines forever. I really enjoy instructing and flying GA, but it was probably something that kind of prompted me to just say enough time flying in the airlines and get back to stuff I really like and care about. And we decided that we should do more little trips around Alaska, which then turned into we should do a really big trip around the United States. So it was just too much fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. And so most of you guys have probably seen me on YouTube for a while now. Um, but obviously I'm a CFI and still training students. Steph is a commercial pilot and had her first summer working as a commercial pilot in Alaska this past summer. No airlines or anything, just little 135s. Yeah, so you're up to like 800-ish hours. 800 hours, so I'm pretty new still. Yeah, so you get your instrument ticket, commercial, 800 hours, and you're going to work on your CFI this fall and hopefully help you get your CFI. Yeah. And then double I, MEI, multi, everything. Um, but yeah, so throughout some of the videos, obviously there's not that much flight instruction stuff because she's not a student pilot and I'm not totally like a CFI all the time. Well, um, sometimes I feel like a student still. <laughs> <laughs> well, although I also have a tendency to always say something because I'm a CFI, so if something's different, then I usually comment on it. 
Um, At least since we're flying my airplane, I get a little bit of say. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, but uh, little habits that we have to break, like, you know, run-ups aren't optional. Um, and things like that, that are different in Alaska than the lower 48. But um, we're doing a whole other series, actually, besides YouTube, on flymikealpha.com. There's a whole course that we're going to be putting out that is way more instructional on the flights we're doing um, that are much more student and instructor-related compared to some of the commentary on our regular YouTube videos that are more just, you know, shorter comments or suggestions because I don't have to give her a whole long explanation. She already knows. Um, maybe just needs a reminder. And same thing for me. I don't need somebody to explain to me the four reasons why the airplane's turning left. She might just remind me that, hey, you need to press on the right rudder more. <laughs> um, I don't need the full explanation. So, yeah, the YouTube videos are not super instructional. Um, they're more just having fun, flying around, showing you guys amazing places and taking you along on our journey. But on the site, flyatmikehelp.com, keep an eye out for that course coming out. Hopefully in the next month or so here, we'll get it posted up where all the flights we're doing, all the videos we're doing have extra commentary in there, a lot of more instructional stuff. So if you want to learn more VFR and IFR flying, more that advanced flying that we're doing, how we flight plan, how we do all that sort of stuff, we'll be adding that to that course. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below. Obviously, it's an interesting dynamic with, uh, yeah, two pilots, both born in August, should add. Um, both Leos in the cockpit. Um, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. It's going to be really interesting once we switch seats. And you have to fly from the Where? right seat. Is that? Oh. Because you're going to become a CFI. <laughs> and I can sit in the left seat again. And so we're going to be two totally unproficient people. Yeah flying the airplane around into all sorts of new places. So stay tuned. Interesting things will probably happen. Uh, and also interesting things will happen because we're both going to be in the airplane for so long. <laughs> yeah, that'll be interesting too. Um, yeah, with so, the um, rascal. With this one right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy she's along for the trip. Just so can't, for, uh, yep, he almost put happy. her down the food disposal. Oh, um, no, the garbage just... Well, that was an accident. Yeah, that was an accident. Uh, anyways, you guys know what to just do. Joking. Like the video. Subscribe if you have not already. Hit that bell to keep up with all the notifications of everything coming out on this channel so you get notified right away when we post new videos. Any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. Thanks we're, for watching. Yeah, yeah, we're glad to have you guys along it's... on this trip. It's awesome to um, have so many people following our adventures around the country. And... Uh, me, Steph, and Sia, you know, it's just going to be a great time. <laughs> so happy to have you here, Sia. Yeah. Oh, Sia, are we dancing? Are we dancing? Are we dancing? Yo quiero taco bell. WTF. And now you're hiding because you know you screwed up? That must have taken a lot of effort. Oh my god! <laughs> you ate your body weight in pizza. And I had brought you leftovers, Sia. Yeah, we're never bringing you leftovers again. This is crazy. Yeah, All right. we should, probably should have seen that one coming. I take that back. She will get in the box. <laughs> yeah. You stay back there.